Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to edit a Korean photo in autumn. However, in this corner, it doesn't have much autumn, just see its yellow leaves falling. Then OK, I will choose to open this photo. Then in this photo I will see some of the following problems. Then in this photo I will see some of the following problems. The second is many people in picture. Then to erase people in photo, I will handle it by cropping the picture. In one third composition. I will delete it. You see that I has cropped this image with a one third layout. Enter. The people here, I also delete these flowers. Do you notice why I deleted this flower? Because it is not the same color in set of photos. You see that now I'm in autumn, the leaves are yellow, but this flower is purple. Then in order to delete it, I will zone it again. I always zone this jar. Then you click erase, it will automatically delete it. Then here too, I will zone. Click erase. Zoning. Click erase. The principle is that when I edit a photo, Sam will delete the things that are not relevant. About the color in my photo. That way I will have a uniform image and color. There is also a tourist here, I will delete it too. Click erase. If I delete this place but it can't be finished, then I can choose away. Click add new layer and I pull out my photo. Command T. Then I deleted it too. Okay. Then this photo is currently Sam seeing that it is missing contrast. Then Sam will add contrast to it. Here you can see the picture after contrast is brighter. In addition, I will see that this photo is yellowed, the dress is not yet white. Then I will adjust the white dress, but it's autumn. Still yellow leaves. Then Sam will reduce the white balance at this time. That's what I see, I can try one more time. Minus white balance. If so, I think it's too white, then I will reduce its opacity. Then I saw that my dress was white. Next, I adjusted the leaf to be more yellow by select the fine art preset, selected the yellow leaf. You see before, after, the leaf itself is yellow, I can increase or decrease the opacity. All the features of fine art secret I can increase or decrease the opacity. Depends on your wishes. After I increase and decrease the opacity. I watch before, after, Sam will group again for you to see. Before, after, I had a slight change. Next I will start lightening the subject skin. I will create a new layer. I will choose skin, white skin 3. And scan on the subject skin. Scans this part only. You see before, after. I block the subject's face, I don't scan the whole thing. Then smooth the skin. By the way I choose skin, beauty skin. Run. Just circle the face. Enter. Then I zoom in, I scan in the part that is not smooth, on the face of the subject. Actually, this picture is very far away. You will not need to do the skin carefully. Normally I doesn't do skin too much. Before, after. Subject skin much smoother. Then after the skin is smooth, then I will merge the layer. And now I will sharpen the image by adding detail to the image. Then after you see plus detail. Before, after, the picture is much sharper and more detailed. I'm almost done with the picture. So now there are two options here. One is that I will adjust the clouds to make this photo darker. Two is that I will pair clouds, now I will show you two options. First, I will adjust the clouds. Sam will enter the color cast plus blue. I think the clouds are bluer. Before, after. Then if I want it more blue, I add another blue. Then you see this photo is also beautiful. Impressive, you see? With the fact that I just added the blue color, it's also very pretty. Before, after. Two is that I will not adjust this way, 
but I will use sky replacement feature. Use the sky replacement to replace the clouds in this photo. If I choose sky replacement, I has a lot of clouds here. Please note that for all cases, we will choose different types of clouds. For example, in this photo, Sam won't choose gentle clouds like this, pastel colors. Because the context will not be suitable, now I will test it for you. Because in this photo, my color tone is yellow, vibrant color. The bottom is impressive, so if I choose this color it's too light, it doesn't fit. I will give up, note that you have to choose the cloud color tone that suits the context, here I will choose this color. Okay. Then you see. Below it is a dark color, a substance color, so it must also be a substance above it. And you can change the position of the clouds, by clicking on this sky press command T. You see. I can change the position of the clouds, I can drag it back and forth. Then the cloud it fits will create an impressive photo and now, I've assembled the clouds. Now I can tweak a few more things. For example, squeeze the subject's body, here I choose liquify. Then I found her waist a bit big, I can adjust the waist a little bit. By squeezing in. Note that you can change this pressure. Normally, I leaves about 30%. Then with 30% I will drag it slower. Then I will be easier to control than if I stay at 100%. Then you see that you can pull this dress to make it smaller. In addition, I can also drag this place where it glides a little bit. As well as pulling this out. However, please note these columns. These rocks are also very annoying when I edit photos. Then I choose OK. Then continue, you can still block more for this photo. By choosing to add contrast. Brush, contrast. These columns if I wants to make it stand out in more detail, then Sam will block it. Then you will see that it stands out more. So are the leaves. These leaves, I wants it to stand out, will block it. I can also block her skirt. By contrast. Before, after, you see. Next, I can also hit dodge and burn around the subject. Make your subject stand out more. On this side is the dress it's a bit light. Then I will also hit but only hit the dress. Then you see the before. After, you can also beat these parts down a little bit. Depends on your preferences. And if you want the picture to be more impressive, you can still type detail. I add detail. I can put detail on these roofs to make it stand out. Either the leaves, or the skirt. Then you see that with just a few simple steps, not too complicated. I edited a photo that is yellow and the leaves are also autumn, but the leaves are not very bright. I edited through a much more impressive photo with impressive sunset clouds. You see with pictures like that. It's not too difficult to edit. If only I understood the principle of it. And you see that I has process that I erases the unwanted colors in his photo so that it becomes a solid color. This is a very important note for those of you who edit photos. You need to match your colors to make your photo more impressive and unique. 